we have been active in research for many years now, in fact, over a decade, looking at some of the major challenges. For example, in the UK, one of the major challenges is dealing with the legacy, decommissioning old facilities such as reactors, but also fuel cycle facilities in places like Sellafield. You have to generate novel ways of to characterise the waste because you can't use the standard types of techniques that you'd use with non-radioactive waste. The challenge there is the material that exists perhaps has reacted and changed over the many decades that it's been stored and you've got to be able to characterise that to understand what it is before you can remove it. We do work very well with industry. All the projects are industry sponsored. We've worked with industry like Sillafield National Nuclear Labs and other engineering companies for, for many years now, which means there's a good two-way stream of information. The Distinctive Programme stands for Decommissioning, Immobilisation and Storage Solutions for Nuclear Waste Inventories. It's a research programme linking 48 different research projects. Leeds has been very much at the forefront of that characterisation work of, all, of a whole range of different types of materials. <laughs> The methods that we, we develop in the nuclear group at Leeds, one of the types of methods are acoustic methods and that means we can not just measure what's, how, how things are flowing but we can also measure what the materials are made of. One of the fundamental problems we have with researching uh, legacy wastes, that, which are slurries and sludges, is that we can't see through them visually. So uh, we're using X-ray computed tomography to be able to image features uh, within uh, what we consider to be a black box. By using a shorter wavelength uh, form of light, so x-rays, I can penetrate within that object and locate detailed features within that black box system. We've come up with an idea that is a new reactor that can mix a lot more efficiently so we could maybe replace the traditionally used stuff that's already there. No one has done this work before. No one has. There, there is no research into the drying of UK nuclear fuel um, because the UK has its reactors are unique, unlike the rest of the world. We have stainless steel clad fuels. The rest of the world uses zirconium or zircaloy clad fuels. Leeds is one of the world leading centres for microstructure, nanostructure of cementitious materials. And say so we've had a history of this for 40, 50 years. Um, a number of academics now within the group working on this field. Concrete and demolition waste is over half of the UK's nuclear waste by volume and so this puts a massive strain on our repositories and our drig low level waste repository. So if any ways can be done to reduce this, this load on it is important really in terms of saving money and saving time and environmental reasons as well. One of the things we've done is to look to change the morphology of zirconium molybdate. So usually it's like a cube um, type system, whereas actually we can actually form rods now um, using citric acid as a, an additive. Um, this could be advantageous because these rods could behave differently, so maybe when we resuspend them, um, they might be able to stay in suspension. I study different flow conditions, so at the end of the day when we're working with them in the nuclear industry, we understand how they behave and then we can work with them in a safe and controlled manner. It's a really good opportunity for Leeds and the other universities as well to join up and share research knowledge and collaboration um, facilities and it's, it's a much more joined up approach involving industry rather than everyone doing their own research projects and not knowing what's going on. It's a collaborative approach to research in this area. It's nice to be involved in something that um, could be regarded as uh, vital in the future and may well be may well be vital. I've never had a dull moment. It's always been exciting, it's always been something new because it's always been on the cutting edge. It's, the thing about the nuclear industry is you, you're nearly always dealing with some unique challenge. You do stand on the shoulders of other people in terms of what you do. Obviously you build up that body of knowledge through working through many decades and many projects and PhDs, but there's always some new challenge. Um,